and I and I'm I'm not gonna get into who my sources are, but if you follow me on these platforms, you know who my sources are. Okay, let's leave it at that. You got a good idea of who my sources are. Just leave it at that. And Saturday, one source told me, yeah, Chris, that's not accurate. <laughs> not even close, Chris. Not even close. Not accurate. And then another person said today, yeah, don't believe what you read on Twitter. I said, okay. And left it at that. So there, there we go with that. Now, and I'll go back again. This is none of this stuff is going to happen until Florida State and Clemson resolve their legal issues. Right. Period. Yep. They're gonna have to, they're gonna have to pay some money to, to, to leave the ACC. Whatever that amount is, they're gonna have to pay the ACC something to leave to make the ACC whole and happy with losing their two two of their bell cows. Yes, sir. They're not just gonna say, Oh yeah, I can go for nothing. Yeah, oh yeah. You've sued us, y'all beat us in court. We lost all, all of our legal standing. And then, oh, by the way, y'all can leave us for nothing. No, stop. That's not happening. Okay, that, that, that's that's not happening. It's, it's not. And just leave it at that. It's not happening. Okay. So, and that's not gonna that's not gonna be ten million dollars. Will <laughs> it's not gonna be fifteen million dollars? But that's a difference. That's a different source, Mister Trent. That's a different source, and he's been wrong too sometimes. He's yeah. been right too sometimes. But again, I'm going back to it. Until the litigation is resolved, this stuff is not happening. It's not happening. Period. And I see Jason Shear's tweet. I'll say him because I have respect for him other than other guy. He said within the next year or so. Okay, you know what that indicates, Will? It's going to take about a year or so for them to do what? Resolve the legal issues. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That That is the whole point of this whole discussion. Unlike yeah. the dude yesterday who made it sound like it was imminent, even though he, he had not verified his sources yet. Yeah, working on, working on, verifying that. Yeah, I'm working to verify this, but I'm going to put it on Twitter anyway. Uh, it's not true yet. Yeah. So, okay, so what happens if he works to verify, but then he verifies it's not true? Then what? Yeah. Just... Then what? Is he going to come back and say, oop, my bad? <laughs> right. Oop, oop, I verified it, <laughs> and, and and it was in, inaccurate. So forget what I said in my first book. Okay. Right, yeah. All right. Come on now. I, I don't work like that. Okay? I, I, that's, that's, that's... Well. All right, I'm not gonna say that. All yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Well, we can say that off the air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because again, folks, family, family of the folks talking sports show. A year or so. Duh, they're not going to do anything until they resolve their legal issues, and then once that happens. Then they got to go to the Big 12 and say, okay, this is what we were getting from the ACC. This is what the schools in the Big 10 are getting. We expect hope. No, no, no. They're going to say we expect to be made whole. And that means matching what the Big 10 and the SEC schools are making. And then Commissioner Yormark has to say, well, let me get back to you on that. Well, then when you do that, you, you let us know. But beyond that, this stuff is not imminent. Okay, it's not imminent. I go back to it again, as I said, episode 129, as you and I discussed. This might all be part of Brett Yormark's master plan. Right. Of involving or getting a deal with a private capital, private equity firm for the Big 12. And he, he even said at Media Day in Vegas, 
that that was not close to happening, but it is inevitable for intercollegiate athletics. And clearly, that's he's, he's referring to the Big 12. The NFL is getting close to entertaining and allowing private equity to happen. Yeah. But even then, it's like no more than 10%. So these things will probably happen. Let me put it like this. And Will, you, I think you agree with me on this. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to speak for you, so correct me if I'm wrong. Florida State and Clemson are leaving the ACC as it is currently constructed. Yes. There's a que- it's just a question of when. Yes. Yes. Now, the, the win is, or the, the currently constructed is, either the Big 12 with increase in revenue or a reconstructed ACC, where it's just eight members, the big boys. And Fair those enough. eight members have to be made whole from a TV package, which is they got to figure out how they're going to make all that money. Because this is what I want to talk to you about, Brother Gibson, or ask you about. Yes, sir. The ACC network is linear, has a deal for what, basically 12 more years, roughly, at least 12 more years, at least. Why would or no, no, in your opinion, would ESPN blow up the ACC network to make the Big 12 happy? Who doesn't no. have a network? No. You think okay, they would? So, no. Oh, okay. So, no, no. So that's where, I'm, that's where I'm going. So make this make sense to me. So if ESPN probably does have their hands in this at some, you know, the networks, ESPN and Fox Sports, Fox, are really big in, in college sports. But how are they going? What would they do with the ACC network if Florida State does not form a new ACC and opts to leave the Big 12? Peace. Wow. We're withdrawing our financial support in high school is the way to put it because without florida state without clemson and you believe who would you say who would you say last on on uh, june 24th duke north carolina i think going to the big something like that yeah if they leave the acc who's left of value in the acc smu smu yeah right yeah no So, again, why would – because the Big 12 does not have a linear network. They have Big 12 now on ESPN+. Plus. Mm-hmm. So what – make it make sense. What are they going to do? Why would they shoot themselves in the foot with their own linear platform and the Big 12 does not have a linear platform? Right. Right. So that, that part of the scenario doesn't make sense to me. But Willie said it. A lot of other folks I trust do not believe the Big Ten will invite Florida State. Nope. You know, you could never say never. It seems highly unlikely. Okay. 